Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. And thank you for joining me for our Sunday School Bible lesson this week. Um, today, we are going to continue on in our Jesus Storybook Bible. We are on page 208, and we are on the story, Let's Go. So I'm going to go ahead and read, and then we will discuss. And then I have a little craft for you to do at the end. So let's get started. Page 208, Let's Go. Jesus is tempted in the desert and chooses his helpers from Matthew 4, Mark 1, and Luke 4 through 6. After Jesus was baptized, he went straight out into the desert. That might seem like an odd place to go because as you know, deserts are very hot and there isn't any food or water or places to stay. But Jesus needed to get away by himself and be somewhere quiet and lonely. He needed to be with his heavenly father to get ready for his new life. In the desert, Jesus thought about the secret rescue plan he had made with God. Before the foundation of the world, they both knew what would have to happen. To rescue God's children, Jesus would have to die. There was no other way. It was the reason he had come. Now, that old enemy, the one who had spoken through the snake to Adam and Eve back in the garden, remember him? He didn't want Jesus to rescue God's people, so he lied to Jesus. Are you really God's own son, he whispered. Poor you. God must not love you. You don't need to die. Do it my way. Yes and no, Jesus said to the liar. I will do what God says. And from that moment on, nothing would ever be the same. Jesus wasn't like Adam. Jesus was a new kind of man. He would not believe the terrible lie that the enemy spoke. Jesus knew God loved him, and he would trust God no matter what. It was just as God had promised to Adam and Eve all those years before. Jesus had come to do battle against the snake's work. He would get rid of the sin and the darkness and the tears, and he would suffer but he would win. Jesus left the desert and set about the great rescue. He was going to get God's people back. But first, he needed to find some helpers and friends. He had a lot to do. He would need some people to help him. Who would make good helpers, do you think? Clever ones, rich ones, Strong, important ones? Some people might think so, but I'm sure by now you don't need me to tell you they'd be wrong because the people God uses don't have to know a lot of things or have a lot of things. They just need to know him a lot. One day, Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee when he saw some brothers and friends mending their nets. They were poor fishermen. Jesus called out to them, let's go. Peter, Andrew, James, and John looked up at the man on the shore and they couldn't explain it. Their boats needed to be put away. Their nets needed mending. Fish were still wiggling on the shore, but something about this stranger made them just drop their nets and their fish, leave their boats and everything and follow him. This God, Man was like no other they had ever met. When they looked at Jesus, their hearts filled up with wonderful forever sort of happiness and inside was as if they had running free in an open field. Jesus asked 12 men to be his helpers. Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, another James, Simon, Thaddeus, and Judas. Meeting Jesus would change all of them forever. All right. So last week we talked about Jesus getting baptized, didn't we? And baptism is a sign that the rescue had begun, right? So where was the first place Jesus went after he was baptized? He went to the hot desert, right? And um, that generally wouldn't be a place we'd usually go, would it? Because there's not a lot of water, not a lot of food. But it was a nice, 
quiet place that said he needed to be with his heavenly father, right? And then Jesus was tempted, right? And what was he tempted by? Do you remember? It was a snake, right? Just like when we talked about the serpent, the snake that tempted Adam and Eve, right? But it said in our story, Jesus wasn't like Adam, was it? Was he? He knew that he had to be strong and he knew that God loved him and that he had to follow God's word, right? Um, so he basically told the snake, I'm not going to listen to you. I know I have to follow God's way. So, um, but Satan did try to tempt Jesus, didn't he? Yep. And then after that, he found 12 of his helpers, right? Do you guys remember what they're called? They're called disciples, right? And that is another word for a helper or a follower. So he needed, he needed some help, right? He had lots to do and he needed some help. So he found some fishermen, right? And that is where our little craft is going to come in today. So what you are going to need is just a piece of string. I just used some string from my sewing kit, a piece of paper, something to write with, and a pencil. That's it. So on here, I cut out a fish. I gave him an, some uh, or one eye, a smile, and then this is where I put my string, right? And then I'm going to tie my string onto a pencil. I know some of you are familiar with the song. Can you guess what song I'm thinking about? I'm not going to sing it because I don't have a very good singing voice. But it goes something like this. I will make you fishers of men if you what? Follow me. Yeah, I know we've sang that at VBS. And we might have sang it at Sunday school this year too. So what you're going to do is go ahead and tie that little string onto your pencil and it's going to be like a little fish that you caught, right? And on here, I just wrote um, Matthew 4.19. It says, I will make you fishers of men, just like the song we sing. So that's kind of a fun craft and you only need a few um, supplies and it might be, should be, ones you have at home. Then you can reel it up and pretend to go fishing today. Or maybe you actually will go fishing today. The weather's supposed to be really nice. So go ahead and wind that up. And there is a little craft you can do today. Okay, so our key verse today is from John 1 29. Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So there are going to be times that we're tempted, right? Um, times that we're going to be tempted to maybe not make the right choices. But the good news is, is if we follow God, he's always going to lead us um, on the right path and on the path that he chooses for us. So when we're tempted by things, just like Jesus was tempted by Satan in the story by the snake, he was able to say, nope, I'm not having any of that. I know my heavenly father has a plan and um, no matter what you tell me, I know it is not right and it goes against what my Heavenly Father says. So those are great things to remember when you are ever tempted um, by things and um, we always know that God will help us make the right choices, right? So always a good thing to remember. I just follow my Heavenly Father and He will lead me down the right path that is meant for me, what He has planned for me, right? Okay, and I think that's about it. You can go ahead, if you have any questions, you can ask mom and dad or you can reach out to me and I'd be happy to answer those questions. Um, as you all know, we only have a few more weeks left of Sunday school and a few more weeks left of school. So that is cool. And then we're on summer break for a bit. Um, we're gonna have VBS this year. Um, I'm working on it. Um, I'm just not sure the dates yet, but as soon as I know, I'm going to let your moms and dads know. And um, we're going to have a great summer. And we're going to hopefully have a big church picnic when all this coronavirus is all gone. And um, we're going to just have a fun kickoff for Sunday school next year. So all those things I am starting to plan and I'm really excited. Um, 
So our Sunday school picnic on May 17th has been postponed. Um, I'm pretty sad. I had a really, really a lot of fun things um, planned for that picnic, but unfortunately we just aren't able to do them right now because we have so many rules we have to follow. So just stay tuned, but I promise I am going to make, um, I'm going to make plans for VBS and we will be getting together really soon. So I hope you guys all have a great day and we will see you on Wednesday night.